So Sumit, yeah. Yes, Sumit. Please go ahead. So actually, I want to ask a question. Mm hmm. So suppose we have a shell of four mm thickness. Okay. And dish of eight mm thickness. Okay. So is is it acceptable? Yeah, yeah. It it is acceptable. No, because uh, there was a inspector. Uh -huh. Inspector. He told me that if the dish, uh, if we divide shell by four, then uh, then there will be one value. Okay. Uh, Sumit, I'll just um, like to rephrase the question which you have asked. Okay. So I think the question here is not that whether we can provide the, whether it is permitted or not. Definitely it is permitted to have different thicknesses of shell and dish. If you have done the calculations, you know exactly, you know, that two is two and dish elliptical and torospherical. Or if it is a flat head, definitely that is going to have higher thickness than shell. Okay. Now the question here is that if there is a difference in thickness between shell and dish end, okay, like in your case, you said my dish end thickness is 8 mm and shell thickness is 4 mm. Okay. If you match the ID, the difference remain is 4 mm. Okay, not 2 mm. So 4 mm difference is remaining. Now the actual question is whether I can do that. Okay, whether in code anywhere it is covered that how we will be merging those thicknesses. That is the actual question. Got it? Mm, yes, sir. Yeah, there, please. Sir, this is a UW9 and UW13 for the shell and dish and UW13. Mm -hmm. The taper transitions, taper transition have to provide. Yes. So now let us see how it is getting covered in code. So we'll go to the relevant clauses. Okay, so definitely it's covered in UW. So we'll go to UW. That is there in subsection B. So if you go to design of welded joints, which is UW9, you can see here, UW9C talks about tapered transition. Okay. When we say tapered transition, that is what exactly we mean. Okay. If you see this figure, one side there is dish and one side there is shell. Okay. And now it can be a very generic case, you know, any difference in thickness does not matter whether it is shell or dish end or any other part. If there are two different thicknesses, okay, and we want to join them together. In that case, okay, we need to provide a tapered transition. Okay, uh, what we mean by tapered transition, it will be a kind of slope. Okay, we need to provide a proper slope. Now, what is defined as a proper slope. Okay, that you can see here. The height or the length of that taper transition. Okay, shall be greater than three times the offset value. In simple words, it is one is to three taper. My slope has to be lower than one is to three. Okay, so my slope has to be always smoother. It should not be very steep. It should be smoother. So if it is more than one is to three, then we are okay. Like I can provide one is to four, one is to five. Okay. We can do that, but we can, we cannot provide one is to two because that is steeper than one is to three making sense. So I can provide, or I'll have to provide a tapered transition meeting this code requirement. Okay. Now the question is there whether in each case it is required, even my difference is very small, then also I need to provide this taper transition. To answer that, we'll have to study this clause completely. Okay. That whenever there is difference in thickness, okay, where we are joining the when we are doing welding, if there is difference in thickness, then we need to provide taper transition when 
difference in thickness is more than one fourth of the thickness of the thinner section. There are two cases, so we'll just focus on first one first. So, what first one is saying that if my difference in thickness, in our case, what is our difference in thickness? Eight is your shell, or eight is your addition. Four mm is your shell, right? So, difference in thickness here is four mm. That four mm is more than one fourth of the section of the thinner one fourth of the thickness of the thinner section so one fourth of the thinner section in our case is shell right so one fourth of the shell will be four divided by four is equal to one mm okay so in our case the difference in thickness is definitely more than one fourth of the thickness first case we are meeting okay the second case is we have to provide taper when the difference is more than 3 mm okay so whatever is less between the two cases so in our case the first case is going to be governing because only after 1 mm difference in our case we need to provide the taper transition okay so we need to provide a taper transition which will have which has to meet this length criteria length and height criteria right that slope requirement okay the slope has to be always lower than 1 is to 3 okay my slope has to be very smoother okay so if you see this figure the slope which we are having in this case let us see this represents 1 is to 3 slope so i can provide a slope like this okay which is more smoother than this making sense so i can provide a slope like this but i cannot provide a slope which is more than this okay which is steeper than this that cannot be provided okay now the joining of these two parts can be done either by matching the center line or by matching the id okay so in our case when we have two different thicknesses one is 8 mm and one is 4 mm so we'll, leave, we'll have to analyze both the cases in first case we are just matching the center line of these two thicknesses okay in that case the offset value is 2 mm which is definitely more than one fourth of the smaller thickness okay which is 1 mm so in this case 2 mm is the height so I need to provide a length which is more than three times. Okay, so two into three, six mm at least length has to be there. Okay, it can be six or more than that. Making sense? So I'll take that length and make the slope. So I need to provide the slope both sides, right? Because both sides it is exceeding that value. Now this is the first case. I hope you understood that. Now in second case, we can join them by matching their ID. Okay. In this case, I'm matching the ID. Now what is my offset value? It is 4 mm. In that case, what is the length of the tapered position? 4 into 3, 12 mm. Okay. I need to provide at least 12 mm of the length of this taper transition 12 mm or more than that okay i can provide more than that so my slope is going to be smoother than that okay now i don't need to provide the slope any uh, on the other side because it's already matching there is no offset okay so these are the two scenario which will be there and this is how we need to provide the taper so when the inspector said Okay, about the one fourth of the thickness. He was talking about the, this criteria. Okay, because he just he was just not saying that you cannot provide the shell thickness, which is four mm. But what he meant is that if you are providing a thickness like four and eight mm, you need to provide a tapered transition. That is the only requirement he was having. Okay, guys, got it? Great.
what if uh, the the in the transition area we will uh, we will get a less thickness than what is required in the design will that uh, be a problem good in that a very good question um, so what amdas is asking now is that this is my shell thickness and i have a dish end which is having thickness more than my shell okay i'm just drawing it very roughly so this is my dish end and this is my shell okay so when i'm joining these two i'll join it like this and then i'll make a taper in this zone okay so there is going to be a thickness reduction in the d shed straight portion so now imdad is asking whether the reduction in thickness is permitted a very good question so now as we see so this straight portion of the d shed is nothing but cylinder right and for cylinder the minimum thickness required is what is given already see this is the required thickness whatever we are having extra in this straight portion that is additional thickness okay so even if i make a transition like this still i'm having more than the required thickness okay so the answer for that question is yes the reduction in thickness is absolutely fine and it is permitted okay now the question can be reversed okay so my question in this case is whether this kind of scenario is possible can i reduce the thickness in the shell portion and join it with the dish end can i do that so in the tapered portion the shell thickness is less than the minimum requirement yes sir very rightly said i cannot afford to have a lesser thickness in this area because i have designed the shell for a particular pressure okay and for that we need this much thickness i cannot reduce the thickness of the cylindrical portion because it is required as per pressure okay in that case then how i will be able to join right now the next question is in normal design you might have seen a straight face okay can i have a straight face and whether it will have i will have any advantage of having straight face in case of hemispherical any help i will have in joining if what will happen if i provide a straight face to the hemispherical design see this finally the straight portion will behave like a cylindrical shell okay and we know that for cylindrical shell we have different formula so if i am providing a cylindrical shell it has to match the original shell thickness requirement right i cannot have lesser thickness for a cylindrical shape okay so finally the even though i'm providing a straight face the final result is same i am not able to join okay then what can be the solution so now what we do in case of hemispherical cell that we have a different concept here the dishes are not completely hemispherical but there is a cut back length okay. now why that is required that will see okay and how that cut back length is derived okay and why it is required okay. what we do in case of hemispherical addition we match the id uh, sorry we don't match the id we match the center line of this addition like this okay we match the center line and then we extend the shell 
shell will have some extra length okay and here it will be matching with the vision okay finally your outer side now it can be matched like this it will be tangential matched so your final shape will come out like this so your weld where you'll be actually welding your addition with the shell is this joint this is your weld line so in hemispherical addition case actually your weld line is right hand side to the tan to tan line this is your tan to tan line right in normal additions we have tan to tan line and then left hand side we will have weld line okay because they will have straight face and this is it is opposite instead of having straight face it is having cut back length okay the addition is cut and the shell is extended okay and then here they are joined because i don't want a lesser thickness or i cannot have a lesser thickness in the cylindrical shape okay so that is how that cut back length is defined okay i hope you guys understood this okay yeah so we'll close that point here and we'd like to take the next question